today we take a look at 2024 Michigan commit Chris Anderson. This is the Wolverine of On3 Sports, the best of college sports and recruiting. Anderson comes in as a very early commit, committing before his sophomore season. He's a point guard about 5'8", 130 out of the Atlanta area. Michigan offered Anderson back in June after he took an unofficial to Ann Arbor, and it was his first and only offer, telling Joe Tipton that he was no longer interested in any other schools committing to Michigan in October from the class of 2024, which is interesting because there isn't even a commit from the 2023 class yet. It's really tough to give a player comparison for him at this time due to how early it is and realizing he hasn't hit his growth spurt quite yet. And I know fans are wondering about his size, which is completely fair, but understand there are plenty of examples of late bloomers. First of all, his dad is like 6'5", 6'6", former Hooper. If you look at his build, he's got long arms, big feet, really good sized hands, really lanky build. Now, these are some extreme examples, but do you remember when CJ McCollum was in high school? He was tiny his freshman year. Looked like a baby out there. He ended up having a massive growth spurt, getting a 6'3". Anthony Davis, another extreme example. Going through his freshman year around 6 feet. By the time he was a junior, he was all the way to 6'8". John Lure played his first three years of high school as a guard. Then Lure had a growth spurt between his junior and senior year from 6 feet, finishing out at 6'10". Now, I'm not saying this will happen to Chris, but it's a reason to give it a chance to play itself out from a physical maturity standpoint. His shooting is where he's really special. This is the reason he got a scholarship offer so early. At this point in time, he's much more of a specialist, able to hit tough shots with pretty good range. He's not shy to get up any type of jumper, and he has a very short-term memory. He can miss two, three, four in a row, it doesn't matter. He is letting the next shot go, whether being guarded tightly or not. He's a really good shooter right now, that's not a question, but because of his size and strength, he doesn't have that traditional jump shot form. He's still shooting like a much younger player, which makes me interested if he's going to slightly tweak his jumper as he continues to grow and mature. Here's a great example of what I mean. He's really good with his shoulders, his body down through his legs, toes are pointed slightly to the left in unison, really nice balance. If you notice the set point, the set point on his release is down under his chin and his elbows are pointing straight down, forming a really tight angle with his upper and lower arm. This forces his shooting hand on the side of the basketball instead of under it. You see how he's already starting his upward motion to shoot and the ball is set right here? This causes the ball to have more of a side spin rather than a backward spin and ends up looking pretty good at the end on the release, but mechanics on the low to the release with his hand rotating under the ball as he shoots it makes the ball spin like that. Now, I'm not calling Chris Anderson Steph Curry, but they were very similar in that smaller stature and had similar jump shot early on. You see here, I know it's really blurry, but this is young Steph Curry. You see his release tucked under the chin, elbows straight down. Now look at him when he gets more mature and bigger and stronger. The ball is now up. He's got his arm higher in the 80, 90 degree angle range. He's tweaked his mechanics and became the lethal shooter he is today. He does a pretty nice job attacking and beating the lead defender with his handle and hesitations. Defenders play him tight due to his jump shot and his handle is way better than I thought it was. When he's attacking, he's looking to dish to open teammates, but he isn't afraid to take his chances against some guys in the paint. The athleticism will come. His best attribute outside of shooting is his IQ and awareness. He knows the game. He sees the game well. You see he wants to do certain things on the court, whether challenging someone at the basket, bumping off a player, being more physical, but his body and size just doesn't allow him to do it yet at a high level. He'll need to get a little quicker with his finishes, similar to Kyrie Irving, but a lot of that can be fixed over time while he improves his quick twitch, his explosiveness, and his agility. Overall, he is nowhere close to a finished product. He's hit 49 and 55 points already this year. When his body matures and catches up to where his mind is, his game is going to be a bit different and he'll be much more physical and more of a three level scorer. He's still a sophomore, so he's got plenty more time for physical growth and development. 